Hey, what's going on everybody? Brando free to play back on my free to play account and in today's video I'm gonna be uh, kind of uh, explaining town mode and what are the benefits to town mode? What can you get? Uh, how easy is it to do it? Uh, what's the difference between your daily quests and your story quests and, and stuff stuff like that? What can you actually get out of story out of out of town mode? Okay, now uh, right out the bat, uh, if you guys don't know where town mode is, there I believe there are two ways to get into town mode. Okay, one is you see this little uh, right here, you just click on that and you go into town mode. Okay, that is one way to get in. The second way is you click on the battlefield and you go to town mode over here. So either way works. Uh, if it is the first time that you are going into town town mode, you will have to download it. It'll take some time depending on your internet connection, but it will take, you know, once once it's downloaded, you're good to go. Now, depending on if you have completed the story or if you haven't yet, when you go into town mode for the first time, you might get a pretty cool animation. Uh, the story in itself is is pretty cool. It's not, it's not bad. I mean, it, it is a nice, nice little story. There are two parts to it. Um, I'm pretty sure Netmarble will be releasing more content in town mode. Uh, eventually uh, but it is pretty quick to finish and uh, some of the benefits to, to town mode all right the main benefit that you get out of town mode is these daily rewards okay so as you guys can see if you get a hundred points worth of uh, rewards uh, or I should say if you can get 100 reward points I'm getting my words all mixed up you're able to get certain buffs Okay, you get a buff at 20 points, 50 points, and 100 points. And you can cycle through these buffs for free three times. After that, it, in, it, it, it increments in silver cost. I think it, it max out at 20,000 silver for every refresh. Okay. Now, some people would love to always get either hero attack jackpots for all three of them. That'll give you quite a bit of uh, added hero attack for monster hunting. Uh, some other things that you might like to do is, uh, let's say you just want to go out and raid people a lot. Uh, you could get extra infantry, cavalry, or archer uh, attack percentage increases. You can get faster stronghold speed, or march speed, monster hunt march speed, construction speed, or research speed. Okay, So there's a lot of things you can do here. I can see you can just refresh, no problem, refresh. And it starts out at a thousand and then it'll just continue to increment little by little. Uh, today is a uh, research speed day. So hopefully I'm able to eventually get some research speed out of this. At least the first one. Let me see if I can get the first one done. Uh, no, no, not construction. Any research speed on the first one. I'll take 3%. Why not? And uh, next thing you want to go ahead and take a look at is you get your quest here. You can get daily. Uh, you might also have what's called epic story quests, right? Right here, epics. Uh, these are the story quests, and you guys can see there are about 19 chapters to it. Uh, 17. 17 little quests to it. Uh, some of these are multiple uh, quests in one. Uh, Kind of you go do you go do this one thing and then do this other thing and then do this other thing sometimes it, you know depending on the actual uh, quest it could take you know one to two minutes to like five minutes for one quest but it's usually just going through especially if you like to see the cutscenes it's just reading through watching what they're talking about that's usually what'll take a brunt of the time then you have your daily quests. Uh, these daily quests refresh every single day. There are 30 of them, okay? And you guys can see some of the some of the rewards are actually pretty good, like uh, some food, you get silver, you get iron, you get stone, you get wood, you get research speed ups and sagacious chests, you get more research speed ups and sagacious chests more research speed ups i mean look at just look at the amount of speed ups you're getting you're getting quite a bit of speed ups every single day and you know it's it's pretty awesome being able to do this every day training speed ups research speed ups just 
speed ups galore, res uh, resources galore, uh, Lord Stamina in potions, um, just a lot of good stuff. Shields, 8 hour shields, you get a lot of shields, you get a sagacious, you get glorious, you get a lot of stuff just by doing these 30 quests every single day. And it's very simple to do, right? You just go click on the person, you accept the quest. And then if you want her to run a little faster, you just click on this area again. Click there and then boom! Look at her take off! I think she overshot that. <laughs> One of the good things about this as well, you can talk to your, your alliance mates while you're in here. You can send helps. You can pretty much see everything, and movement in here is very, very simple. You can use a little, the little uh, diagonal, the little joy pad, the little, uh, well, what's, what's it, what, what's the word I'm looking for? You can use a little uh, touchpad here on the side to have her move around. You can also tap on the on the screen itself, and you can have her move around. But if you just want her to get from point A to point B to complete that quest, you just click on the daily quest again, and then boom. She just sprints over there, and uh, obviously you do have to do some interaction. You have to actually click on it and watch the animations, which at times are pretty cool at first, but uh, you know, towards the end, it gets kind of tedious. If only you could just be like, okay, one swing, they're dead, instead of having to, you know, go through some of these longer animations just to get it over with. Um, but yeah. Town mode is definitely a must-do. It should be on your daily list of tasks to go ahead and complete. Doesn't really take all that much time. You can do this throughout the day. You don't have to do this in one sitting. Um, it's actually pretty simple to do. I And also, if you're just really, really impatient, you can use silver, which I do not recommend because silver is a pretty... A hot commodity for a lot of players because of researches that cost a lot of silver but you can use silver to kind of speed up the process and just auto complete these researches I mean these quests so uh, that said I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys uh, found it somewhat educational if you guys have any questions or any concerns comments go ahead and leave them down below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Sound good? Alright guys, until next time. See ya.